Welcome back to Unit Operations Part 2. Let's pick up where we left off and show you how an operator executes an order in the Unit Operations screen. The way Plant Applications is built is it takes advantage of any devices connected to your equipment. So all of our screens are designed to run on a mobile platform, either an iPad or a Windows tablet. Those devices have cameras on them, as does a laptop or a desktop, and you can use those too. So let's get started working on this particular serial number. So as you can see here, I have a number of tabs and I have this header information. So I have not completed anything. There's one item in this order. I've not started it. Uh, I haven't selected the unit I'm working on yet and I am gonna clock onto it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that right now. If I wanna see more information, I can scroll this down and this is where I could pick a different type of labor that I'm gonna clock on, depending on what I'm doing. So I am going to clock onto this and now the time on task has started and we've picked the unit that we're working on. And this button shows up here. This is the complete button. So as you see here, I have, I have a number of tabs, one of them being the documents tab. This is where the operator sees their work instructions. They can have work instructions that are on the particular operation, which, which are the, these three right here. And they can also have work instructions that are related to the order itself or the, or the route. Uh, and they can have those right here. You'll see these here. The next tab is the bomb tab, and this is where I would enter the, the items that I'm going to consume at this material. This is set up in the route. If you watch the route editor video, you'll see how this is set up. Uh, you can make these mandatory. That would force the operator to consume a particular item for the ones that are mandatory. We, we don't have any mandatory here, but let's go ahead and consume one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work on this down tube here. And this is the screen that they would enter their uh, particular lot of down tubes that they're going to use. Uh, in this case, I know that there's one called down, down one. And this is, uh, again, we have a camera here so I could scan the lot easily into this spot too. Now we try to make it easy for the operator by entering the required quantity in the quantity to consume. They can change it to whatever quantity they need to change it to, but by default, it's quantity to consume. So it's very easy to scan the lot number and consume it. And boom, we've just consumed one particular quantity right there. Now, as long as I'm in here, I can actually scroll through in order. You'll see that the previous item is the TV top right here. I can scroll through these this bill of material and I can just scan the ones that I'm gonna consume very, very easily. Another thing I can do is I can search for a part number. So if I wanna make sure I'm using the right part number, again, I can use the camera to do that.